Hello everybody. In this video I'm going to show you how to download the project to the HMI and then how to recover in your laptop via USB. So let's go to the software. Here I have this application okay for a HMI GTO4310. Okay, as you can see here the model. One thing that you need to check is this one, include editor project. If you don't check this, there is no application to upload from the HMI when you want to upload it. So we have checked this. Now I'm going to show you the HMI that I'm connected with, which is this one. Okay. This HMI, he says only hello world. And the new application that I'm going to send have this information. So let's download it via USB. Okay. USB connection. Something important is the user application that you need to check. Despite this one, include editor project. This is a must. And then here you have different options main drive, secondary drive, or optional drive. For more information about this, where the, where the application is going to be in store, you can go to Options, and in here, Data Locations, you can see the, for the details about the application. Okay. In other devices, you can select the path for this optional and the secondary. So now let's connect via USB to the control to the HMI, and let's download it. Okay, let's download it. Okay, yes. Okay, perfect. It's a different application. So let's wait to download it. Download project backup file. Okay, this is what we need to upload later. Now you can see there the behavior of the HMI is built in. Now the new application will show up. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's downloading. You can see there the blue bar at the bottom. And now yes, it's put in again and the application will show up. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the runtime version of the application in case you need to provide any information. There. And this is the new application. So what I'm going to do now is to open another project, an empty project, OK, for video designer. And then I'm going to create a folder this is not necessary, but I'm going to do it. Upload. We can make a right click, upload editor project, and here we have the option to select USB, serial, or Ethernet. I'm going to select USB, and here we need to match what we have configured in the in the software. So in my case, it's main drive. So if we go to the configuration of the Initial project. I have included the editor project and the user application is in the main drive. So if we go back here, now I have the connection to the HMI. So upload. Let's wait for the upload. You can see there there is no changes or something there okay it 
So loading the project, it's thinking. If we have any error, we can see that in the feedback zone. And there we go. You can see here that the project has been uploaded into our laptop. So if we double click on this one, you can see the same application. So thank you very much for watching me and I hope this is very useful for your daily day work.